episode i am going to show you how you can customize your website url in the buzzsprout um, website so once you create a user id in um, in buzzsprout you are basically ready to start your episode but when you look at the and they would give you a website where you can you know add your information which would come up in search engine which is pretty good but if you look at the website it says some odd numbers and if you customize a url it's easy for people to remember and it can help you develop a brand name so i clicked on website and website url here and when you scroll down you have a couple of options this is if you have your own website you can add like a, a subdomain i think um but i'm interested in this particular option so this is uh they're giving you like you can type anything you can say spark at buzzsprout.com but i'm gonna use this one so https colon slash slash spark s p a r k by james me dot b u z z s p r o u t dot com so it's more I'm I'm very happy with that name so or maybe you don't have to add this because at the end over here you can see that so you just add this save changes Mm, it's invalid so you give dot b u z z s p r o u t dot com okay let's try now whose name only so mm. So we have to do a little bit of troubleshooting oh i'm stupid so this is already given i just had to write spark by jinx me <laughs> so that's it guys now it'll work yeah so what happened i'll tell you my error so this https is already there and this is also already there so just give the name you want and save the changes and you'll get a new website link that's it guys so let's go here go back here oh i've got my own own little link that's it guys thank you bye bye